Hey guys, and it's Isaac here. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. We're in Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm just been attacked by all these dro drogs. Drogs, I guess that's what I'm calling them. Last video, I got a level up, so I'm going to grab that right now. Um, I'm going to go for Magicka, and I'm going to go for Destruction because it seems like I can cast novice level destruction skills for half Magicka, and um, these drogs seem to go down down pretty fast when I'm burning them. I don't hear any more down here. There's no little red dots. Although there's swinging stuff over there, which is a bit crazy. The swinging blades. Um, I'm just going to quickly loot any bodies there are around here. It seems like these half decayed ones are the ones you can loot. There are some that aren't so decayed. There's a chest up here. Can I jump up to this chest? I want the chest! Let me at it! with an apprentice lock in it. Right, so let's have a go at this. Oh, it's around here somewhere. Nope. Right, so it's around there somewhere. Uh, maybe up a little bit. Nope. Right, so it's a bit more to the right. So it just looks like the harder the lock, the more likely you are to um, bust a pick in it for some reason. So there we go. So there's swinging things to my right, swinging blades, which I've got to dodge. These guys look like the ones you can loot. The skeletons you can't loot, they're too far gone. And the ones that aren't decayed at all, but well, just slightly decayed, those are the ones that get up and attack you. Right, so we've got to try and get through here, so... As usual with these kind of things, I like to go through sideways, so I can see where I'm stood in relation to everything. And I'm through. I wish I'd have been paying a bit more attention. Can I pull this chain? Awesome. So, uh, no doubt got more guys that are going to jump out of me from the walls here. Maybe not in these particular two rooms because they all look uh, pretty decimated. But I'm going to be cautious nonetheless. Let's start sneaking again. What we got down here. Okay, there we go. There's a guy right there. Oh! Right, there we go. That's that um, kind of attack I was doing in the previous video from first person view. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Lots of bodies. So he was stood in one of these like he'd actually been risen from the dead. Look at that. Looks like he's been risen from the dead. If I'm not quick, that's a quick thing in my bow. And do a sneak attack on this guy. Wonder how much damage I'll get for doing that. Right in the chest. So there we go. Cook him as he's running towards us, and he's dead. He's, whoa! Holy cow! What happened there? I'm guessing that was pots of embalming oil exploding. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is going to be something to remember. That thing's going to be a dual hander, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. I don't want dual handers because I like this whole dual wielding, having a spell and stuff, so. Oh, that's a crack in the wall. Whoa! Hello. Ow. Ow. Let me get my shield out. Fiend. What do you say? What do you say? Say something to me. I seem to like that attack. I seem to like smashing people on the head. With my mace. <laughs> Can you blame me? Seems to kill him pretty quickly, so. There doesn't appear to be any loot down here, apart from on these zombie fellas. Um, just want to be really careful. I'm looking for traps on the floor and stuff again now. So, I'm heading up here, from the looks of it. Looks like we're in a cave now. Back in a cave. We started off in like a cave looking area. I don't see any traps, so let's just head right through here. Wow! This place is huge. What have we got? <gasps> Hello! Hello, buddy. Come in to say hello. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yep, my character really loves that attack. Right. So we've got zombies popping out of these things now. Let's cook him. Steam broil him. 
We've got a chest here. Gold lockpicks, iron arrows. Don't really need iron arrows, but let's take them anyway. That is caved in. Um, ah. We have a chain. Is this going to open this? Yep. So let's follow the river. Or the stream. Looks like it's a dead end right there. Shiny mushrooms. Harvest glowing mushrooms. What's this? It's a troll skull. Crap. They said they were trolls. I was really hoping they weren't trolls. But it looks like there are. So let's move on cautiously. I can't see any trolls. Unless they're like hiding. A lot of glowing mushrooms here. Let's harvest them all. I don't think I can get up there, that's just water flying down. There's a chest. Over there. What's that out there? Hang on, let's grab this chest first. Scroll of Fireball, Scroll of Guardian Circle. Iron Boots, not interested. What's this? That is some guy running along. And this is a huge open place. Right, so that drog has spotted me. There he is. And he's very, very dead. So am I going down there? This place leads me down here. Oh, this is cool. This frosty patch down here. Where does that go? Does that just go straight down? What's down there? Right, so do I, do I go up there? Or do I have a look down here? Let's have a look down here. No doubt there's going to be a troll down here. There are troll skulls. Unless the drogs have taken care of the trolls. Okay, there looks to be a lot of dead bodies down here. Skeletons and whatnot. no doubt been thrown off of that cliff or maybe they, they fell down the waterfall maybe it's just dead bodies randomly here I've right, got a novice chest let's bust this puppy open there we go well, we got amethyst, gold, minor healing, hide helmet and a dagger can I get through here? no I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze through there even though I'm not that small more skeevers that one's eating some gold Right, so that's interesting. It looks like either people have fallen off here in the past or they've gone down there to do battle and not come back up again. So, so we're back in a cave kind of looking thing. I'm going to grab those glowing mushrooms. You never know. They might be really good for enchanting. I mean, they're good in Terraria, so they've got to be good in here, right? Okay, we're back in the sort of like to me crypty place now. Oh! Shadows! I haven't been detected yet. Nearly have. As soon as he comes around the corner though, I'm gonna burn him to pieces. There we go. Okay, this these restless drugs seem to be tougher than the others. Ow. Can't hit me. My health is low. Holy crap, my health is low. Thought I was doing so well. Let's take some potions then. Ow, this guy's tough. There we go. So that's him down. He did a lot of damage to me for some reason. He was particularly tough. And did I get a level up out of that? Was that what that chanting sound was all about? I did get a level up. Right, so let's claim my level up. What should I go for? Health. Diff this time. I seem to be running out of health. And uh, let's go for restoration. Novice level restoration spells for half magicka. Doesn't make them any more powerful. I did get that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Doesn't make them any more powerful, but I can cast them for twice as long. So that's the advantage I'm looking for. So are there going to be any more guys in here? I wonder. Wow, look at these pillars. Holy cats. 
can't see any more guys in here, but you never know, they might be hiding. Can't see them, there's a chest there. Let's check out this chest. Apprentice again. So you have to be quite accurate with your unlockings. That was good. More potions. So there doesn't look to be much more in here apart from this huge burning thing. And that's just a rock, isn't it? So let's head through. Let's go to Bleak Falls Sanctum. From wherever we started off. Bleak Falls something. Maybe just Bleak Falls. Right, so this looks... With this thing in the centre, this definitely looks a little bit more ritualistic than the previous area. That's overgrown with weeds and roots. So... Let's just get down here, I suppose. Alright. Whole bowls of linen wrap and stuff. I hear clanking. Oh, it's more of these blade things. Right, I can get through here then. Uh, there's one there. Get through that one. Through this one. And the next one, there we go. Have I got a chain to pull? Turn that off. Thank you. Right, so those. No doubt, I can set on fire. Hello! That's what I'm thinking. And there's another one over there somewhere who's coming, was coming, running down to, to greet me, my greeting party. Very nice, but um, you know, it's not necessary. What we got? Resist cold. Just knock that urn over. Never mind, I'm sure. Sure I'll survive. Nothing else in here, that was just a complete bust. Can I open these? So no doubt I can Is that oil on the floor? Right, so let's try this out, shall we? Ah! Wow, that is nice. Can I set that on fire as well? Yeah, wow, explosives and stuff. That's cool. Whoa, hello. Someone's shooting at me. Where is he? He's up there somewhere. Can I set that thing on fire from here? There we go. Hopefully that'll engulf that whoever that was shooting arrows at me from up there. There he is. Hello. Mace to the face. You love it, don't you? Get those Nord arrows there. Awesome. Anything down here? Anything? Doesn't look like it. I could jump over there if I wanted to, but it looks like I can just use the bridge. What else we got in here? A little bookshelf. A whole load of not a lot in here. I'm not surprised there's not a lot in here because I'm guessing this place has been abandoned for a very long time. I mean, if there's zombies in here, they're the only inhabitants. It's not like there are people around. The bandits never got down this far, so it's just zombies. I wonder why the zombies are all waking up. I mean, generally it's necromancers. Okay, this looks like it could be trapped. Got a huge door here. No doubt another combination lock. What was it? Snake, snake. These don't appear to have snakes on them. That's a. Let's have a look. Uh, this claw. Can I use it? I don't really want to activate keyhole. Let's do it. So that is the golden claw there. Okay. Golden claw. Ew. Ew, I see. Uh in the palm of your hand. So we've got bear, dragonfly looking thing, owl looking thing. Is that the combination then? I suppose there's one way to find out. The answer's in the palm of your hand. Dragonfly looking thing. So it's in the palm of the golden claw thing's hand. If you've got the golden claw in your hand, then the answer's also in the palm of your hand. So we want the weird owl looking thing. Is this gonna work? 
Is it? Will this open the door? Oh! Well, that worked. And nothing's coming out the walls to attack me yet. Oh, wow, look at these. These uh, engravings. They look nice. Right, so next video. I think I'm going to head up this path. If I heard something. Okay, it looks like there's a very, very big, big room up here. I can see for miles. So next video, no doubt there's a drawg in there as well, no doubt. So in the next video, I'll be heading through here. Until then, take care. I'll see you soon.